Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruning. And I'm Kayla Aloff. An ODOT employee saves another man's life. Dave Maggard, a seasonal employee at ODOT District 7 in West Central Ohio, was helping patch potholes on I-75 when he noticed a car lose control. Seconds before it crashed into their truck, he was able to pull co-worker Ken Beekman, who was standing right in the car's path, over a rail. I just remember grabbing his jacket and just kind of jumping, not really knowing what, what would happen. Hopefully, hopefully it could turn out. Ken says without Dave's quick action, he likely would have lost his legs or even been killed. It makes you think. Uh, definitely keep, keep an eye on the traffic and have someone watching. Now this is just another example of why we ask you to move over and slow down when you see our work crews. And speaking of work zone safety, Ohio will be hosting the National Work Zone Awareness Event in Toledo this year. It's an opportunity for us to extend the messages we have been telling people. Don't be that driver. Don't be the person who ruins somebody's commute or day or life. And at the same time, it gives us an excellent opportunity to help the public understand all that we do to work on safety. Preliminary numbers from last year show 6,035 work zone crashes. 1,439 people were hurt and 28 killed. Sometimes the battle of snow and ice doesn't end when the snow stops. Pulling and drifting snow can cause problems for days after the storm. One way to combat that problem is snow fence. A four foot tall fencing is typically placed about 150 feet from the edge of the road. The fence catches the blowing snow and keeps it from drifting onto the pavement. A common complaint we get at ODOT. It doesn't even look like a plow touched this road. And it may very well look that way when heavy snow is falling. Our Hoodoo guru explains why. Hello everyone. Welcome to Who Knew 101. Now we're going to use some round numbers here. So let's say ODOT's responsible for about 43,000 lane miles. And that's about 17 and a half trips from New York to LA or two trips around the world. And we have roughly 1,600 snow plows taking care of all that pavement. That means each plow is responsible for roughly uh, 27 miles. And since trucks average about 25 miles per hour when they're plowing, it takes just over one hour to make one pass. So when snow is falling at more than an inch an hour, that means the roads we just plowed can become covered within minutes. This is why it's always important to slow down and allow extra time to get where you need to go. Who knew? Thanks, Professor. <laughs> Be sure to stay connected through social media. And we'd love to hear your ideas. Just email loop at dot.ohio.gov. And now you're in the loop.